This is an NBC News special report. It's a video so violent we can only show a few seconds of it. President Trump's face superimposed onto a shooter's body inside what's described as the church of fake news. That was just fake news by NBC, which gives a lot of fake news. In a graphic scene, he shoots, stabs, bludgeons, and in one instance, lights on fire depictions of his political opponents, like Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, and news organizations like The Washington Post and NBC News. Listen to this track, bitch! It truly is the enemy of the people. The enemy of the people? They are the enemy of the people. In a tweet, President Donald Trump called the media the true enemy of the people. Who's in the fake news? Fake, fake, disgusting news. These are just dishonest, terrible people. Fake news, the enemy of the people. You know, CNN, fake news, MSNBC, you know, that's really the enemy of the people. Whatever happened to fair press, whatever happened to honest reporting? I'd like to clarify that. He, everyone in the liberal media is a Trump enemy. And two years ago, tweeted this controversial meme pretending to body slam a CNN logo. Still, President Trump has not publicly denounced the clip, despite tweeting more than two dozen times today, including about dancing with the stars. Standing behind his explosive, unproven claim he was spied on by President Obama. Quote, just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. The agency's director asking the Justice Department to publicly push back against the president's claim. And former director of national intelligence, James Clapper, who would have overseen any wiretap, publicly denying it. And at this point, you can't confirm or deny whether that exists. I can deny it. There is no FISA court order. Not, not to my knowledge. It would be a huge scandal if it happened, but there's no evidence it did. Then the Inspector General's shocking report proved that the Obama FBI obtained secret warrants to spy on my campaign based on a phony foreign dossier of debunked smears paid for by crooked Hillary Clinton and the DNC. Right? more troubling conclusion might be that this is simply a president who cannot separate fact from fantasy. In case after case as a presidential candidate, even as president, Donald Trump has made outrageous claims with no obvious basis in fact. It's hurt his credibility with some voters. Now as president, it could hurt his credibility on the world stage if he's proven to not be telling the truth. It's frankly disgusting the way the press is able to write whatever they want to write. They, folks, they spied on our campaign, okay? They spied. Never happened before in the history of our country. It would be a huge scandal if it happened, but there's no evidence it did. Breaking tonight, the FISA court is fighting back, not against the critical Inspector General's report, but against the FBI. We were lied to every day by everybody on the anti-Trump side of this. We were lied to by elected officials. Today's Gang of Eight briefing was conducted to ensure protection of sources and methods. Nothing we heard today has changed our view that there is no evidence to support any allegation that the FBI or any intelligence agency placed a spy in the Trump campaign or otherwise failed to follow appropriate procedures and protocols. Thank you. Run. We know that the Devin Nunes memo about FISA abuse was accurate, whereas the Schiff memo turned out to be totally debunked. And we learned that the Trump, the Trump campaign was in fact spied on by the FBI and the DOJ. With respect to Barr's comments, I really don't know what he's talking about when he talks about spying on the campaign. It's concerning because the FBI and the Department of Justice conduct court ordered electronic surveillance. I have never thought of that as spying. We were lied to by security officials, by intelligence people, by FBI people. We were lied to by the media who were complicit in this. I mean, every day and not just once or twice a day. We were lied to about everything. The FBI and the Department of Justice conduct court ordered electronic surveillance. 
hundreds of thousands of demonstrators take to the streets, among them the wife and daughters of FBI Director James Comey. Wife Patrice, Hillary Clinton supporter. Oh yeah. I didn't take a poll among all the kids, but I'm pretty sure that at least my four daughters, probably all five of my kids, wanted Hillary Clinton to be the first woman president. I wanted a woman president really badly, and I supported Hillary Clinton. A lot of my friends worked for her, and uh, I was devastated when she lost. It almost boggles the mind. The things the president has been telling the country and been echoed by his followers, it was all lies. And I suppose he counts on the fact that we'll be overwhelmed by that tidal wave of lies. The institution needs to be understood by the American people, and it's fundamentally honest and independent. I did a great service to our country by firing James Comey. That controversial claim pushed by the president. We now call it Spygate. With no evidence to back him up, as he implies the FBI planted a spy on Team Trump. Sir, what proof do you have that your campaign was spied on? All you have to do is look at the basics and you'll see. An FBI informant did talk with several members of the Trump campaign in 2016 as part of a bigger investigation into Russian interference. That's broadly accepted. What's not? The president's insistence it was all political. When they look at the documents, uh, I think people are going to see a lot of bad things happen. President Trump has seized on this new branding effort to discredit the, discredit the Russia investigation. He declared on Twitter today, quote, Spygate could be one of the biggest political scandals in history. These type of tactics spying on an opposition party in an election year, are you kidding me? The new report that may indicate that the Obama administration did, in fact, spy on the Trump campaign. And then the news came out about the spy. This was the spying on the campaign of the opposing party. party. They knew what they were doing, and they were engaged in an active, ongoing, politically motivated spying operation. To put the fix in to save Hillary's campaign. Then they quickly started spying on the Trump campaign. How and where does it strike you when you hear all of that, when you hear our president call this spygate? Well, I find it very ironic that he would actually choose that term uh, by trying to take this innocuous use of an informant by the FBI, which is very common, and conflate it into the exact scandal that is surrounding his campaign. To be quite honest, Spygate technically describes the Russian spies who were possibly in conspiracy with members of the Trump campaign in order to steal an election uh, and subvert American democracy. That's the real spy game. The investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired with the Russian government in its election interference activities. The transformation of the media in this story is especially curious they got everything wrong and they knew it and they did it on purpose and there has yet to be a mea culpa there has yet to be an apology there has yet to be a correction there has yet to be oops we're sorry there's not even any embarrassment over what these people did we know who has fallen victim to foreign influence the democrats themselves vladimir putin had one goal divide and conquer undermine the integrity of the great American election system. And that he sure did. I brought a hat too. A Russian hat. I mean, if you can't beat him, join him. Just trying to hack Chris, into Chris, and affect the Chris, U.S. election. Chris, 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 Chris. Do you deny that? Let's... Russia hacked our election. Donald Trump would not be president today if it were not for the assist that he received from the Kremlin. The Russians were successful. They accomplished what they set out to do. I mean, who needs Russian influence when Vladimir Putin has Hillary Clinton, Adam Schiff, Obama's entire intel team, and CNN doing the whole job for him, right? <laughs>